Hello, my name is Cyclone Oz, and today we're going to be discussing this Mauritius Cyclone situation once again. So you can see uh, we've already got something developing up quite nicely offshore from Madagascar, north of Mauritius. Now this is Tropical Cyclone 5S at this time. It's been classified as a tropical cyclone or tropical storm as per the JHWC. However, Matera France, the official agency down in the southwest Indian Ocean, has not yet given it the name of Cyclone Balal, which will be coming very, very shortly, I imagine. And you watch, they'll probably do it just after I make this video. So make sure you're keeping up to date with um, official agencies just so you get the latest information. However, this is your latest forecast brought to you by Cyclone Source. And if you are brand new here, we're going to be discussing the weather models, the wind forecast, rainfall, wave heights. So if you do end up enjoying this video, please do consider subscribing and leave a like while you're at it because it really does help us out. But we're looking at this swirly feature over here. And you can see on the um, infrared satellite imagery, which gives us an idea of how strong the thunderstorms are around the center of the system, this cyclone is developing very nicely at this time. It's got a nice swirl to it, especially in the mid-levels, and it's had that swirl for a good 12 hours now. And it's now really starting to fire up some convection over its center, which has been consistent for the past sort of six to eight hours or so. And now it's got those banding features towards the southern side of the system, which you can see there. So it's looking really solid, that's for sure. So now we're taking a look at the JTWC forecast cone. You can see that the storm right now winds at 35 knots. However, give it 12 hours and it will have winds here 50 knots as it moves in this southwesterly trajectory. Now it'll take it about 36 hours before it makes its shift towards Mauritius and Reunion and it is going to be a strong system, rapidly intensifying right up until it passes through uh, Mauritius and Reunion, delivering the worst um, conditions to Mauritius. In fact, they're expecting hurricane conditions at this time. And if I'm to take a look at that forecast, that's 115 knots sustained winds as this cyclone moves through. That is a very, very strong cyclone, a very intense tropical cyclone with uh, category four equivalent winds. This is going to be a powerful system as it moves through. Uh, one of the strongest that Mauritius has seen in a long time. I know Bats of 2021, I believe, moved just north of Mauritius, but it was substantially further away than how strong this system is going to be and how close it is going to be because the proximity to Mauritius is what has me worried. Uh, that's for sure. Before it moves past, and south of Rodriguez and dies off there. And then the forecast becomes a lot more uncertain, which we're going to break down in detail in this video. And you can see, if we were to switch it over to the wind forecast, this is reciprocated in the model forecast. The ECMWF has been very slow to get this storm up to a strong intensity, but by about Sunday and into Monday, the storm rapidly intensifies as it blasts between Mauritius and Reunion. Um, it might struggle a little bit as it moves between those two islands, considering it's going to have to fight a bit of land interaction, maybe a little bit of elevated wind shear because of its land interaction and its more southerly um, altitude. But I reckon it's still got a pretty good shot at bringing life-threatening conditions a short of both Mauritius and Reunion. And if I'm just looking at this as well, um, it's going to be delivering a lot of rainfall. Considering how Reunion's on this western side of the system, that's what uh, you'd want to see if you were expecting a lot of rainfall here. And that's exactly what we're going to see around St. Philippi. And some of the locations around the southern side of the island are going to receive some dramatic quantities of rainfall as the cyclone makes passage through. And if we were to take a look at rainfall accumulation over the next five days from the UCMWF model, you're looking at three to 400 millimeters in some locations. And maybe because of the model resolution, it could be higher than that, up to 500 millimetres in one or two places. And it's a similar story in Mauritius as well, two to 300 millimetres, with one or two spots expecting maybe a little bit more than that. So we'll be keeping a very close eye on that, you bet. Um, but yeah, it is a weak system, apparently, according to the Euro model. But if we were to switch it over to the GFS model and um, use that in combination with the JTWC forecast cone, I mean, you're looking at a storm with a pressure in the uh, what high 950s, low 960s, um, making a direct hit on Mauritius, which is a plausible scenario, and it's a scenario that I'm going for in terms of intensity. Um, the GFS generally gets pressure fairly good, especially on these sort of systems in the Southwest Union Ocean that are quite close. It's terrible on the long range for the Southwest Union Ocean, but it's pretty good on the close range. Um, but it generally gets wind speeds on every single storm very, very wrong. And that's because of the model resolution. The model just doesn't have like the pixel depth to uh, really pull out the, uh, or figure out how strong these winds are gonna be. So even though it says that the winds will probably be about 50 knots in the Northwest, I'd extrapolate that to maybe about 100 knots with the pressure in the low 960s, uh, high 950s. So looking at a landfall on Mauritius as a category three major hurricane equivalent system, 
or a tropical cyclone or an, in, or an intense tropical cyclone as per Matteo Francis scale. So it's a significant storm as it makes its landfall on Mauritius. And as we play this run through a little bit further on, it strengthens substantially Wednesday and into Thursday as it passes south of Rodriguez. And we're looking at a storm Thursday morning, Thursday afternoon, in that with a pressure in the low 940s, uh, a very powerful system here. And what we're looking at, winds around the north around 70 knots as per the forecast model, so up to 120 knots sustained winds uh, from this tropical cyclone, a very intense tropical cyclone, well and truly into Category 4 strength as it moves past Mauritius. So um, if it gets really strong before it impacts Mauritius, it could be substantially stronger through here, and that's going to be a menacing satellite snap. So satellite photographers, get ready, because this is going to be a beautiful system. And as with all Southwest you know, Indian Ocean storms, it's probably going to have a pretty nice banding feature down towards the southern side, connecting to a cold front or this monsoon trough, and a lot of banding and outflow towards the eastern side of the system. So it's going to be a photogenic system. That's for sure but one thing's for sure a powerful system expected a very wet one as well by the looks of things for reunion and mauritius and it looks like the only thing that's going to save this from dumping more than a meter's worth of rainfall in one certain loca uh, location on like reunion or mauritius is the uh, storm's fairly rapid forward motion i would say now we'll briefly take a look at the ecm blue earth's wacky forecast that it had um, for the past couple of days wednesday thursday and if you play this run through it calls for the storm to bounce around here between rodrigo's and mauritius and it sort of does that but it's not as dramatic as what we were expecting the other day. And the storm is substantially weaker as well. It was calling for a Category 4 or Category 5 strength system to be bouncing around here. Now looking at maybe a Category 2 strength system, but still, it could definitely be driving substantial swells towards the eastern side of Mauritius and the western side of um, Rodriguez, and also onto Reunion and Madagascar as well. So dangerous coastal uh, conditions are expected along the Madagascan coastline as the storm makes passage through. Um, so yeah, it, it, it is a threatening storm by all metrics. Uh, that is basically guaranteed um, from right now. And you can see it, it is developing really nicely. It is, it's, it's got a beautiful central vent server cast on it to develop some great banding features. And it has the conditions ahead of it. If we take a look at sea surface temperatures, I mean, it, it's bath water that this storm is over right now. 30, 31 degrees Celsius in one or two spots. Um, and it, it doesn't cool off, it doesn't drop below 30 degrees until it gets really close to Mauritius. And it, the storm's going to spend three or four days over 30 degrees Celsius waters. We've seen what this can do in um, the Southwest Union Ocean, Cyclone Svantala, Cyclone and Bali, Cyclone Batsura, Cyclone Freddy. They get themselves over these very warm waters just north of Mauritius and they can explode in intensity. Normally these storms are heading towards Madagascar, Batsura and Freddy were. However, this storm is going to be crossing those paths and heading for Mauritius, so there's no telling and what this storm could do, what intensity it could get up to. I'm giving this a maximum possible intensity of maybe 130 knots. So you're looking at something getting close to Category 5 status, heading for Mauritius. It's a dire forecast um, at this time. It's a very concerning storm. And you guys in Mauritius and Reunion, you really need to be watching this very closely because this is a very worrying situation in terms of how strong this storm could be as it approaches your islands. Um, and I, I'm, I'm just shocked that the Euro model, which generally picks up these storms very well, just doesn't call for much intensification. I don't know if that's a sign that the storm's not going to get strong, but I mean, if you look back at the JTWC forecast from this system, you're talking 110, 115 knots as this storm moves between Reunion and Mauritius. It's a, it's a ridiculous strength uh, for a storm to be attaining at this latitude for this time of the year. This is sort of March, February, um, even uh, late March sort of things, maybe even early April in some cases, not early January. So it's a, it's a worrying forecast, that's for sure. And I mean, we're really glad that this isn't heading for a major population center in Madagascar because this could do a hell of a lot of damage if it switches track and goes to Madagascar. Thankfully, it doesn't look like that's any possibility anymore. But it's a con concerning forecast nonetheless. And you guys in Mauritius and Reunion, I can't stress it enough. You really need to prepare for this cyclone because it is a concerning one, uh, that's for sure. And there's going to be a lot of wind and rain as a result of this cyclone Tuesday into Wednesday. Um, and you can see 99th percentile sort of stuff um, as this cyclone moves through uh, Wednesday and into Thursday. Um, or Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, that's kind of when this storm's expected to make its passage through Mauritius and Reunion and drop its absolute worst conditions. So yeah, if you are brand new to the channel, please consider subscribing. It really does help out. And also, if you want, leave a like on the video while you're at it. And tell me how you can improve in the comment section down below. I thank you so much for watching. And if you are in Mauritius and Reunion, I wish you the best of luck uh, through this tropical cyclone. Make sure you're preparing now and watching the forecast very closely because any changes could dramatically impact the impacts that you're expecting in your location. But that's all for me and I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye.